trade evenly, but G2 just getting forced back to their base. Two carries, the last two left standing. Vitality can just focus on the PvE gameplay, focus on the base. They need nothing else. Oh, it's personal! Dominance from start to finish, and personal is the perfect word for it, Kadrol. The shutdown will come through. But actually, the overconfidence there, the overaggression might cost them because now G2 are back up. G2 may have bought themselves a second life in this game. Yeah, I think Vitality could have ended there, but Perks wanted to dive caps on the fountain. 3v3 in Vitality's favor, though. Karzy, Selfmate now leaping into the midst of the entire team. Gore Drinker to bring him right back up. Ganko's now going down. They are going to grab another kill. Karzy trying to finish the job. Karzy wants to end it, or does he want to go for the kills? Big damage. The Root now coming in, trying to finish it. Two more on the board for Vitality, as they will take down G2 for a perfect week two. What a fantastic turnaround from this Vitality lineup. A lot of kind of doubt around them after that first week, a lot of yikes, but now dominant game yesterday, incredibly dominant game today, all coming off the back of individual performances. Hugs, smiles, cheers all around, and now the mental state of Vitality is fixed. Going 0-3 must hurt, but now they must feel great. Have to feel great. Perks. Cho being in the mid lane. Massive individual CS lead, 0 0 0 for the longest time. But on the bottom side of the map, that first creative gank from Self made at level two, setting up bot side to play well together. And Lebrav and Karzi, it's like they've been playing together for years. The play around Broken Blade in the mid, mid lane, well, chef's kiss. Thing of beauty. And, and